layout systems makes it super convenient to create mobile applications, but how do you go live? Today, let's talk about distributing your mobile app on OutSystems. Now this video assumes you already have a mobile application on OutSystems and it's ready to be deployed. But if you don't have one yet and you're interested in learning more about that, you can visit our channel and watch the tutorials available there. For those of you that already have your mobile app, open Service Center and open the application. This is where we'll find the options to distribute this for Android and iOS. Next, click on the Distribute tab. This is where we'll configure some of the things to actually generate the IPA and APK files that you can submit to the app stores. Now you should see two buttons under the Native Platform section, the Generate Android and Generate iOS app buttons. Let's try out the Android app first. So you're going to see two fields there, the build type and the app identifier. Now OutSystems will set some default values here so that when you click Generate Android app, it will be ready to create a debug version of your application to be loaded onto your device. But you can override this and you can read more about this by clicking on the Configure Android Apps link. This will redirect you to a documentation page and it will tell you more about setting up these values. Let's go back to Service Center and actually generate the Android APK file. So click on Generate Android App and wait for it to finish. I'll speed up the video so you don't have to wait for the whole thing. But after this process is done, you'll be able to download the APK for you to try out. And there you go. So you get a QR code that you can scan and this will load a web page where you can download the application. This is a nice convenient page because you'll also get access to the iOS app once you have that generated. There you go. So you can just download it by tapping the get for Android button and you'll get the application on your phone. You can also do the same for iOS so just click on generate iOS app. So there are a couple more fields here that you'll need to fill out. And as a hard requirement from Apple, you'll need a developer certificate to actually generate the app unlike the Android one we just did. You can click on Configure iOS app to see more details about the Apple developer program and what you'd need to do in order to generate your iOS compatible application. But once you have that certificate, same as Android, you just hit Generate and it will produce the IPA that you can use on the phone. Now, if you've also been watching the video closely and not just listening to my voice, you're going to see on the right side, there's an option for progressive web apps. This is another way to distribute your mobile application. The key here is you don't have to download anything in order to get this on your device. Instead, we present you a QR code. You scan that QR code and it can load the application on your phone. It will have access to some mobile capabilities like the camera, geolocation, fun stuff like that but your users don't have to wait for you to get that uploaded to the app store to use it. So this is a very convenient way to actually deploy applications and distribute to users. Plus, you also get the advantage of being able to view the application on a web browser. This way, you aren't just targeting native mobile apps, you can also capture web users. And that's the end of this video. So today you learned about how to distribute applications on iOS, Android, and even do progressive web app deployments. I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this video and want to learn more about OutSystems, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!